Movies for the rising crime against women in the country, Union Minister for Women and Child Development, Menika Gandhi, has urged the film fraternity to portray women in a better light. She says, we have a very important reason why men believe they can get away or they indulge in violence against women, and that is films. If you look at films, you will find romance almost always starts with Eve teasing. Infuriated with such statement, B-Town has hit back at the Union Minister, saying films mirror reality of the society. I'm talking about feature films in every language in India. You will find that romance almost always in every film starts with Eve teasing. The man, the man and his friends will surround a woman, be mean to her, trip her up, show her down, uh, abuse her, do touch her inappropriately, and then slowly, slowly she falls in love with him. Always the medium is starts with violence. And when we talk about films today, they're exactly the same as films um, of the 1950s in the same method. It's become a fashion that if you want to be news, and suddenly you accuse the film industry, you accuse the entertainment industry, and you suddenly become in, you, you come in news and people talk about it. So I, I with, uh, with due respects to Menkaji, I would like to request her that please uh, don't uh, uh, undermine the power of the film industry. Women-oriented cinema, right from Sham Benegal to Madhur Bandarkar, has been made by this, this very uh, film industry. Well, uh, we're opening our phone lines at this point. Our viewers can call in uh, with whatever be your opinion on this story is. Do you agree with Menika Gandhi's statement? Do you agree with what Bollywood is saying? Uh, whatever be your opinion, you can call in and have your say on this story. Our numbers are flashing there on the bottom right of your screens. Uh, let's also get in some more details from Mohit Bhatt, who is joining us live from Delhi. Moit, it seems it's a fight between the film industry and Union Minister Menika Gandhi which has broken out over this issue. Take us through what really the minister said and what are the reactions coming in? Well, Uday, this is not a, a new fight as we can clearly see. It has been a long debate between the film industry and the women activists and the women ministers. Uh, we have seen in the past also when women activists and the women ministers have come out and they have blamed uh, the film industry and movies for uh, crime and violence against the women. And now Menka Gandhi, who was speaking at a Goa film, Goa festival, she said that uh, she blamed rather movies for the crime against women. And she said that the movie should portray women in a better uh, light so that these crime against women would not happen. She said that if you take or take take scene of a regional or a Bollywood movie, we see a man stalking a woman and then uh, he hitting her and then after some time she falls in love with him. So clearly this gives out a wrong message to the people on the ground and she talked about how the Bollywood uh, movies have been going in this same way and also about the regional movies. So clearly if, Udev, if, you can, if I can uh, take you back uh, some time ago they were, when the movie Ranjana was released there was this huge debate on the issue that a man, uh, a man was shown in the movie who is continuously stalking a girl. He also used to hit her, used to take her forcefully on rides with him. So clearly this issue is not new. This has been going on. The, the film industry has been saying that uh, uh, movies are the reflection of society. Whatever happens in the society is being reflected through the movies. While the women activists have been saying that uh, women have been objectified in the movies and they have objected to it a lot of times. So clearly, but then uh, the question over here is uh, when the film industry say that the women are, uh, uh, the movies are uh, what, uh, what happens into the society are their reflection. But then the question over here is we have seen many movies, many songs in which really the women are being objectified. So clearly the women activists are with Menka Gandhi on this issue. Uh, we had uh, word with a few of the women activists. We had word with former uh, National Commission of Women members, Shamina Shafiq. She said that she has said nothing wrong. We have seen women being object objectified in the songs and in movies. So clearly this debate will not end up. Yeah. This has been a long going debate between the film industry and the women activists and the ministers. Stay with us, Mohit. In fact, uh, we, we're... Uh Remember, opening it out for our viewers to call in. We've got our first viewer calling in from Delhi. SK Chatterjee is joining us at this point. SK Chatterjee, go ahead. What do you feel on this story? Uh, I totally agree with the minister. I think the Indian movies, when they start like this, they're vile. They completely distort our values. They teach these roadside, roadside Romeos how to eve tease women. And our girls are unsafe on the road because of what they see in these movies. 
Our, ch- our young children, unfortunately, are not have not reached that stage of maturity where they can distinguish. They are they are emboldened by these things, and I totally agree with the minister. Full mark to her, and I think the the film industry has to reform itself drastically and show something which okay. is more real. Thank you. Fair enough. Thank you, Mr. Chatterjee, for calling in. You, of course, agree with the minister there. Thank you for joining us from Delhi. Our next viewer joining us from Pune, B.C. Rao, is calling in. Go ahead, Mr. Rao. Hello. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I 100% agree with the minister. And I can assure you that if uh, the instruction by her is followed, crime rate will definitely go down. Okay, so you're also, of course, yeah. in agreement with the minister's comments, the minister's statements there. Menika Gandhi, of course, uh, speaking at a function there, denouncing uh, portrayal in the, in the film industry, uh, which, of course, spurs Eve teasing is what she says. Well, uh, on that note, let's get more reactions now coming in on this story. To certain extent, she's uh, right because uh, crime against women is a very serious issue in this country. In fact, it should be declared as a national emergency. And the uh, objectification of women in the movies, in songs, in advertisements, in TV serials, this all aggravates the problem because uh, unfortunately, indirectly, such certain things are glorified in a way which shouldn't be actually. And that is why it aggravates the problem. There is increasing crime in uh, society, so Bollywood uh, or any movie uh, would just reflect that. So how could you hold the movies, and especially Bollywood movies, responsible for spreading and increasing crime? So this is an um, absolutely atrocious uh, statement to make. All right, Priya.